1820, Swami Sri Sahajananji Maharaj was sitting on a large decorated cot on the platform under the neem tree in front of the mandir of Sri Vasudev Narayan in Dada Kachar's Darbar in Gudra. He was dressed in entirely white clothes. At that time, an assembly of munis as well as devotees from various places had gathered before him. Then, snapping the fingers of his right hand, Sri Maharaj said, Everyone, please listen with attention, as I have something to tell you. What I have to say is simple, but only if you listen carefully will you be able to grasp its meaning. Otherwise, you will not. All of the devotees then requested, Please do tell us, Maharaj. Thereupon, Sri Maharaj said, Of the many devotees of God, some have firmness in the observance of Dharma, some have firmness in realizing oneself as Atma, some have firmness in Vairagya, and some have firmness in Bhakti. Although one particular type of firmness is predominant in all devotees, they also possess all of the other types, but to a lesser extent. A devotee in whom firmness in observing Bhagavat Dharma is predominant, lovingly engages himself in sincerely performing the menial service of God and his devotees while abiding by the disciplines related to the dharma of his varna and ashram that is, nonviolence, brahmacharya, etc. Such a devotee also enjoys building mandirs and cultivating gardens for God. He enjoys offering different varieties of delicacies to God and also enjoys hand plastering and sweeping the mandirs of God and the residential halls of sadhus. In addition, he offers bhakti to God by listening to discourses, singing devotional songs, etc. without any form of pretense. Moreover, such a devotee who is firm in observing dharma intensely enjoys listening to and reading scriptures expounding Bhagavat Dharma. A devotee in whom Atma realization is predominant always behaves as the Atma, which transcends, which transcends the three bodies and the three states and is characterized by eternal existence. He understands his Ishtadev, the manifest form of Sri Krishna Paramatma, as all transcending extremely pure, and forever possessing a divine form. In addition, he talks about and listens to talks expounding the pure nature of his own Atma, as well as talks of Paramatma. He also enjoys scriptures that contain such talks. His nature is such that he is unable to tolerate anything that obstructs him in the behaving as the Atma. A devotee in whom firmness in Vairagya is predominant, has a persistent dislike for all worldly objects, but not towards God's form. Realizing those objects to be asatya or false, he never remembers his home, his family, or other objects that he has renounced, in the same way that he never remembers feces once they have been excreted. Such a devotee only keeps the company of devotees who are renunciants. In addition, he offers bhakti to God in a manner that does not conflict with his renunciation. His talks are always predominantly about renunciation, and he has a liking for scriptures propounding renunciation. Moreover, he harbors an intense aversion for tasty food, nice clothes, and in fact for all worldly objects related to panchvishes that may interfere with his renunciation. A devotee in whom firmness in bhakti is predominant has intense love only for God's form. Apart from that form of God, he is unable to focus his mind's vritti towards worldly objects. Yet, he lovingly offers rich clothes and jewelry to God. Such a devo devotee also very much enjoys listening to the human-like actions and incidents of God, and also greatly enjoys listening to any scriptures describing God's form. In addition, he only develops affection towards those devotees who have love for God. Besides them, though, he never develops affection towards even his own son or other relatives. Such a devotee is always engaged in some activity that is related to God. Now, after reflecting upon this discourse, describing the characteristics of devotees possessing these four types of firmness, all of you please reveal which of these is your inclination. In actual fact, this talk is rather like a mirror in that it reveals one's own inclination as it is. Furthermore, those who are devotees of God are never without an inclination. But because they have not recognized their own inclination, they find that they cannot strengthen it. And as long as one's inclination is not strengthened, it will continue to fluctuate according to the talks one hears. 
So, after thinking over this discourse, please reveal your inclinations as they are. All of the devotees then revealed their respective inclinations. Thereafter, Sriji Maharaj requested, those who have similar inclinations, please stand up together. Then, those devotees with similar inclinations stood up in turn, after which Sriji Maharaj asked all of them to sit down again. <coughs> Nityanand Swami then asked, do these four types of devotees with their respective inclinations have any virtues or drawbacks in their inclinations? Sriji Maharaj replied, yes, they do have virtues and drawbacks. Please listen as I describe them. The extent to which devotees with those four inclinations behave according to the characteristics I have described earlier is their virtue, and the extent to which they cannot behave according to those characteristics is their drawback. Finally, Muktanand Swami asked, Is any one of the four who have such firmness superior or, in or inferior to the others, or are all four equal? Sri Maharaj replied, As long as each one adheres to his firmness, then all four are equal. However, if a person adheres to all four, then he is superior to all. When one person is firm in all four, he is known as, an param, as a param bhagvat, bhagvat, and only he can be called an ekantik bhakta. Thus ends Vachnamurth Gadra, first 47. Tamara, what's the word? Uh, mm. no, no, no. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I never some bright check. Oh, Maramoth. Job can you perhaps? Hello, Jess Omina and Badane. Out to you. 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 Hello. Conference line, much here, Koi. Well, we may have muted it, right? Oh, no. They can't respond. Muted it. Start for us. Ah, bale bale, but that's somebody, Joe. Huh? Now somebody to ho, eh? Topan sugar is Bella Pussy, Joe, eh? You can unmute it, right? Star five. So, okay, Sroad's going to call in just to check. All callers are muted. All callers are unmuted. Jay Sundarayan, Badane. Jay Sundarayan. Sambrai Che, clearly. Pankaj uncle, what's that? Do you want to do? No. I'm going to do it. I'm going to call from my cell phone. अच्छा हेलो मुझे बोलूं छोए समराई छे के हेलो अच्छा बंद नहीं थी जाने हेलो कौन बोल रहा चंद्रकांत भी बोल रहा था हेलो चंद्रकांत भाई समराई छे के He does do Bolu, there's some right night. It wasn't too loud. I couldn't hear that well. Uh huh. So, sugar one. We're going to cut my cell phone into the mic. Okay. Ah, I made Chalurak Joe, Toruk. But that is Sarukarash. Ah, 
अजी जय मल जी जय सोमनारायण अच्छा डॉक्टर खुरानंद क्यों गया था सपन बे गुठ भी तो यानी तबियत थोड़ी सारी न थी तो कैसे कि जो दिन कर भाई थे इन बजाती आवाज़ तो यान तो मेरे को जया भी है शी वाज वेरी हैप्पी अन्ना भाई ने बोला गया था ये भी डॉक्टर